Stephen Roy Albert Neal born the 9th of January 1958 is a British philosopher and specialist in the philosophy of language who has written extensively about meaning, information, interpretation, and communication, and more generally about issues at the intersection of philosophy and linguistics. Neal is currently Distinguished Professor of Philosophy and Linguistics and holder of the John H. Kornblith Family Chair in the Philosophy of Science and Values at the Graduate Center, City University of New York CUNY. Education and career Neil completed his B.Phil in linguistics at University College London working with linguist Deirdre Wilson. He completed his Ph.D. in philosophy at Stanford University with philosopher John Perry as his dissertation advisor. Prior to joining the CUNY faculty, Neil held positions at Princeton University, University of California, Berkeley, and Rutgers University. He is one of the world's leading authorities on Bertrand Russell's theory of descriptions, on the philosophies of Paul Grice and Donald Davidson, and on the intricacies of formal arguments in logic known as slingshots. His best known writings are the books Descriptions and Facing Facts and the articles, "...meaning, grammar, and indeterminacy", 1987, "...Paul Grice and the Philosophy of Language", 1992, "...term limits", 1993, "'No Plagiarism Here", 2001. Philosophers of language who have written their PhD dissertations under Neil's supervision include Pierre Bowman University of Puerto Rico, Herman Kaplan University of Oslo, Josh Dever University of Texas, Austin, Eli Dresner Tel Aviv University, Daniel Harris CUNY, Angel Panillos Arizona State University, and Elmar Unsteinson University College Dublin. Philosophical work Neil's writings are primarily in the philosophy of language, construed broadly enough to intersect with generative linguistics, the philosophy of mind, cognitive science, philosophical logic, and formal logic. A realist rather than a pragmatist position on truth runs through his work, although he appears to be agnostic about the explanatory value of appeals to individual facts in philosophical talk about truth. Traditional accounts of interpretation are marred, Neil claims, by one, a failure to engage correctly with the epistemic asymmetry of the situations in which producers and consumers of language find themselves, two, a consequent failure to distinguish adequately the metaphysical question of what determines what a speaker or writer means on a given occasion from the epistemological question of how that particular meaning is identified, three, a failure to appreciate the severity of constraints on the formation of linguistic intentions, four, failures to appreciate pervasive forms of underdeterminatin such as those examined by pragmatists and relevance theorists, five failures to recognize that genuine indeterminacy of the sort associated with what speakers and writers imply incomplete descriptions, and on a slingshot argument originally used by Kurt Gödel, Neil is an intentionalist and a pragmatist about the interpretation of speech and writing, and to this extent his work is rooted firmly in the Gricean tradition. While probably a Quinian in his attitude towards indeterminacy in the realm of meaning, Neil is a Chomskyan and a Fedorian in his stance on what they say for example, when they use incomplete definite descriptions, six inappropriate reliance on formal notions of context deriving from indexical logics, seven unwarranted faith in transcendent notions of what is said, what is implied, and what is referred to, and metaphysics, theory of legal interpretation, and literary theory. Philosophical problems about interpretation, context, information content, structure, and representation form the nexus of Neil's work. He has vigorously defended Russell's theory of descriptions, descriptive theories of anaphora, Paul Grice's intention-based theory of meaning, and a general approach to meaning and interpretation he calls, "...linguistic pragmatism." His most influential work to date has been on the underdetermination and indeterminacy associated with uses of so-called attitude towards syntax and mental representation. Aspects of syntactic theory eight, a quite general overestimation of the role traditional compositional semantics can play in explanations of how humans use language to represent the world and communicate. Neil also wrote an influential defense of Saul Kripke in the Times Literary Supplement against charges that Kripke's new theory of reference had plagiarized work by Ruth Barkin Marcus. Topic: <laughs> Publications. Books 
Descriptions MIT Press, 1993. Originally published 1990, ISBN 0-262-64031-7 Facing Facts Oxford University Press, 2002. Originally published 2001, ISBN 0-19-924715-3 Edited volume Mind. Special issue commemorating 100th anniversary of Russell's On Denoting, Oxford University Press, 2005. Topic: <laughs> Selected articles. Term limits revisited. Philosophical perspectives, 22, 1, 2008, pp. 89 to 124. On location. In situating semantics, essays in honor of John Perry. MIT Press 2007, pp. 251–393. Pragmatism and Binding. In Semantics vs. Pragmatics. Oxford University Press, 2005, pp. 165–286. A Century Later. In Mind 114, 2005, pp. 809–871. This, That, and the Other. In Descriptions and Beyond. Oxford University Press, 2004, pp. 68–182. No plagiarism here. Times Literary Supplement, 9 February 2001, pp. 12–13. Meaning, Truth, Ontology. In Interpreting Davidson. Stanford, CSLI, 2001, pp. 155–197. On Representing. In the Library of Living Philosophers, Donald Davidson. L. E. Hahn, ed., Illinois, Open Court, 1999, pp. 656 to 669. Coloring and Composition in Philosophy and Linguistics, Boulder, Westview Press, 1999, pp. 35 to 82. Context and Communication in Readings in the Philosophy of Language, Cambridge, MIT Press, 1997, pp. 415 to 474. Logical Form and L.F. In Noam Chomsky, Critical Assessments Routledge, 1993, pp. 788–838. Term Limits. Philosophical Perspectives 7, 1993, pp. 89–124. Paul Grice and the Philosophy of Language. Linguistics and Philosophy 15, 5, 1992, pp. 509–59. Descriptive Pronouns and Donkey Anaphora. Journal of Philosophy 87, 3, 1990, pp. 113 150. Meaning, Grammar, and Indeterminacy. Dialectica 41, 4, 1987, pp. 301 19. References External links Neil's home page Neil's faculty web page at the CUNY Graduate Center Neil's archive on the CUNY Philosophy Commons Protosociology volume on Neil's work Video, Stephen Neil on Russell's theory of descriptions Review of Facing Facts, by John McFarlane